Operation of ZBH 5180TXSDFE6 Washing Sweeper Truck. New Car Running In. In order to make the sweeper reach its performance index and prolong its service life, the new sweeper must be running in the early stage of use. The driver and operator shall carefully read the operating instructions of the sweeper and master the operation and maintenance regulations of the sweeper. Please refer to the provisions of the supporting vehicle chassis manual for running in and maintenance after running in. Running in of automobile chassis. The running in mileage of the vehicle chassis is 1,000 kilometers. Please refer to the provisions of the vehicle chassis operation manual for running in and maintenance after grinding, such as cleaning the air filter element, replacing the engine oil of the engine, transmission and axle, etc. Running in of auxiliary engine and special working device. The running in period of the auxiliary engine and the special working device is 10 hours. During the running in period, the working speed of the auxiliary engine shall not exceed 1,680 revs per minute, and the overspeed, sudden acceleration and deceleration of the auxiliary engine shall be avoided. Every working hour, the dustbin is lifted and discharged once, and the cleaning device and the suction nozzle are cycled once. During the running in period, pay attention to check whether each part has abnormal vibration, noise, oil leakage, water leakage, and air leakage, whether the fan drive belt and high pressure water pump drive belt slip, and whether the electric control switch and instrument indication are normal. After running in, check the air filter element of the auxiliary engine. Replace the engine oil and hydraulic oil of the auxiliary engine, and eliminate the faults during running in. Preparations before departure operation. Check whether the tire bolts and nuts are loose, and tighten them if necessary. Check whether the tire pressure meets the specified requirements, and add air if necessary. Check whether the whole vehicle has oil leakage, water leakage, and air leakage, and eliminate them if necessary. Check the oil level of the main and auxiliary engines and the water level of the radiator tank, and fill the oil and water if necessary. Check whether the belt's tension of fan and high-pressure water pump is appropriate, and adjust it if necessary. Recover the dust bin in place. Lift the suction nozzle and sweeping disc in place, and take back the left and right sweeping discs. Fill the clean water tank with clean tap water and fill the fuel tank with enough fuel that meets the requirements. Check whether the ball valve of the hydraulic pump is open and whether the outlet ball valve of the water tank is open. Notice, when the ball valve of the hydraulic pump is closed, starting the auxiliary engine may cause flame out, damage to the seal of the oil pump and other faults. If the outlet ball valve of the clean water tank is not opened, it may cause the pump to suck empty and the pump to be damaged. It is strictly prohibited to operate the high and low pressure water pumps in case of water shortage. The water level of the water tank shall be observed frequently. When the low water level alarm of the clean water tank or the water level indicator shows that the water level is low, the operating mechanism shall be shut down immediately. Sweep, sweep or wash operation. After driving to the working section, the vehicle stops. The gear lever is in the neutral position and the handbrake lever is lifted. Make sure that the chassis air pressure is greater to or equal than 0.7 MPA. You can choose to turn on the sweeping light, select the operation warning music or operation warning language, turn on the arrow light switch and turn on the warning light switch. Notice. Before starting, there should be no obstacles and personnel around the sweeper that affect safety, and warning lights, warning music, or warning voice must be turned on. When the chassis air pressure is lower than the 0.7 MPA, starting the auxiliary engine may cause the clutch of the auxiliary engine to be weak, and the separation may not be complete. Be sure to disengage the side power takeoff during the cleaning operation. 
Select F2 standard operation or power operation on the main interface, and the auxiliary engine will work at the speed of 1680 revs per minute. Select power operation, and the working speed of the auxiliary engine will be 1950 plus or minus 10 revs per minute. Press F4 operation in the main interface to enter the operation mode selection interface. Press F1 or F2 in the operation mode selection interface to select the required operation mode. There are nine operation modes. Full washing and sweeping, left washing and sweeping, right washing and sweeping, full washing, left washing, right washing, full sweeping, left sweeping, right sweeping. In the operation mode selection interface, press the direction key to move the cursor to the required mode and press F3 OK or press cancel again to select again. Wait for the high pressure pump operation indicator light to change to the correct state. For the first six of the nine operation modes, confirm that the pump operation indicator light turns green. And for the last three, confirm or wait for the pump operation indicator light to turn gray. After preheating, turn the key switch to the start position and hold it. At this time, the system will automatically disengage the clutch of the auxiliary engine. Start the auxiliary engine. After the auxiliary engine is started, release it immediately and the key switch will automatically return to the auxiliary engine working position and the engine will run normally. When starting, the key switch shall not be kept at the start position for more than 10 seconds. If the auxiliary engine is still not started when the key switch is kept at the start position for 10 seconds, the key switch shall be released immediately. After 15 seconds, the key switch shall be turned to the stop position and then to the start position to restart. Notice, the auxiliary engine must run at idle speed for 3 to 5 minutes before it can work normally. After the auxiliary engine is started, it can only be switched between the washing mode and the sweeping mode, and it is not allowed to switch between the washing mode and the sweeping mode. When it is necessary to switch between the cross washing mode and the sweeping mode, the auxiliary engine must be shut down first. The auxiliary engine can be started only after the operation indicator of the corresponding water pump is confirmed to be in correct state. After the auxiliary engine is started, wait for about one minute. Listen to the sound to confirm that the belt pulley of the auxiliary engine fan is combined. And press F3 start stop key on the main interface of the display screen to automatically start or stop the corresponding operation mechanism under the selected operation mode of left sweep, right sweep, full sweep, left spray, right spray, full spray, left wash and sweep, right wash and sweep, full wash and sweep. For example, the system will automatically start the corresponding operation mechanism according to the selected operation mode, such as the lowering of the sweeping disc, the lowering of the suction nozzle, the rotation of the sweeping disc, and the water spraying of the water spraying rod. Notice, the washing and sweeping mode automatically memorizes the operation mode selected last time during the next operation. The design program of the washing and sweeping vehicle can realize the dry sweeping operation without water, but the dry sweeping operation without water will produce dust, which will make the fan and air duct wear quickly. So it is recommended not to use the dry sweeping operation without water. When it is particularly necessary, the operation time shall be shortened as much as possible to avoid damage to the machine parts. Manually adjust the speed adjusting knob of the auxiliary engine to increase or decrease the speed according to the user's needs. Each time the throttle is increased or decreased by 50 revs per minute. After each adjustment, the control system automatically saves the data. During the operation, you can also select standard operation or power operation on the main interface for conversion. Select the appropriate low speed gear for the chassis, slowly release the clutch pedal, slowly release the handbrake, and operate the vehicle at the required operating speed, 3 to 20 kilometers per hour. 
If necessary, select the appropriate sweeping speed gear according to the road conditions. And rotate the low speed sweeping medium speed selection switch. After the operation is completed, rotate the selection switch of low speed sweeping disc medium speed to confirm that it has been rotated to the middle position. Stop the job. After the operation is completed, or when the sewage level of the dustbin reaches the maximum height, or when the sweeper is found to be abnormal, it is necessary to stop the operation. Press the F3 Start Stop key on the main interface of the display screen, and the system will automatically shut down all operating mechanisms. For example, the speed of the auxiliary engine is reduced to idle speed. The water spray rod stops spraying water, the sweeping disc stops rotating, the suction nozzle is lifted, and the sweeping disc is withdrawn. Notice. When the water level of the clean water tank reaches the minimum limit level, the control system will automatically execute the above stop operation action. During the sweeping operation, attention shall be paid to the condition of the curb at all times to prevent damage to the nozzle or spray pipe. When the sweeping disc and suction nozzle are not lifted, it is strictly prohibited to drive at high speed, reverse and turn sharply. The maximum speed of the auxiliary engine is limited below 2,220 revs per minute. The auxiliary engine needs to be shut down after the operation is completed, or the sweeper is found to be abnormal. After confirming that the work device is fully retracted, stop the auxiliary engine. Turn the stop auxiliary engine work start key switch to the stop position. Cut off the power supply of the auxiliary engine and shut down the auxiliary engine. Operation of discharging sewage from the dustbin during the operation. The auxiliary engine must be shut down before sewage discharge. Stop the sweeper in a position suitable for sewage discharge. The transmission is in the neutral position and the parking brake handle is in the park position. Align the sewage outlet on the rear door of the dustbin with the drainage ditch and other places where sewage can be drained. And open the drainage ball valve for damage. After draining, close the drain valve and return the drain pipe to its original position. Unloading operation. Park the sweeper at a place suitable for garbage discharge. The transmission is placed in the neutral position and the parking brake handle is placed in the park position. Start the auxiliary engine. Manually adjust the speed of the auxiliary engine to 1000 to 1600 revs per minute and make the hydraulic oil pump work. Select the F1 key on the unloading operation interface of the display screen or the open the rear door key on the bus panel to open the rear door of the dustbin. The corresponding icon or key is lightened, and part of the garbage in the dustbin is automatically discharged. After the rear door of the dustbin is fully opened, select F3 on the unloading operation interface of the display screen, or the sewage tank tipping key on the bus panel, to light up the corresponding icon or key, and the dustbin will be lifted up and tipped backwards to unload the garbage. Notice. In order to protect the safety of vehicles and unloading, the rear door must be fully opened before lifting and tipping the dustbin. Otherwise, the tipping operation will be invalid. When the dustbin is in the state of lifting and overturning, it is strictly prohibited to move the sweeper. It is strictly prohibited to lift and overturn the dustbin on the slope. When the storage capacity of the clean water tank exceeds one-third, it is strictly prohibited to lift the dustbin. Automatically clean the inside of the dustbin. If the garbage in the dustbin cannot be dumped smoothly or completely, or the inside of the dustbin needs to be cleaned, the self-cleaning device of the dustbin can be used for self-cleaning. For the operation method, please refer to the video textbook of this product. Self-cleaning operation of dustbin. Select the sewage tank reset key on the unloading operation interface F4 of the display screen or the bus panel to reset the dustbin to the horizontal state. Note, if the protective stay bar is supported after the dustbin is overturned, 
the stay bar must be put down before resetting, otherwise the resetting operation will be invalid. If necessary, use high pressure water to clean the dustbin and the rear door. Refer to the manual cleaning operation in the video teaching material of this product. Select F2 on the unloading operation interface of the display screen or the close the rear door of the dustbin key on the bus panel to close the rear door of the dustbin. Manually adjust the speed of the auxiliary engine to the idle speed and then shut down the auxiliary engine. Dustbin self-cleaning operation. Confirm or set the operation mode selection interface of the display screen to any position of the six washing sweeping modes of full washing sweeping, left washing sweeping, and right washing sweeping, and confirm that the water pump operation indicator turns green. Make sure that the initial interface of the display screen or the start-stop icon corresponding to the F3 key is gray. Start the auxiliary engine and let the auxiliary engine run at idle speed. Operate the key F5 on the unloading operation interface of the display screen or the self-cleaning key on the bus panel to open the self-cleaning of the dustbin. If the controller has an output, the indicator light of the key will display green and the self-cleaning nozzle in the dustbin will spray water to automatically clean the inside of the dustbin. Press this key again. The controller will stop outputting, the key indicator will not light, and the self-cleaning nozzle in the dustbin will stop spraying water. Spray Operation Make sure that the quick connector of the handheld spray gun is not connected and make sure that the manual ball valve leading to the spray waterway is open. Confirm or set the operation mode selection interface of the display screen to any position of the six washing sweeping modes of full washing sweeping, left washing sweeping, and right washing sweeping, and confirm that the water pump operation indicator turns green. Confirm that the initial interface of the display screen or the start-stop icon corresponding to the F3 key is in gray. Start the auxiliary engine and allow it to operate at idle speed. Select the F6 key on the debugging and maintenance interface of the display screen or the rear spray spray gun key on the bus panel. If the controller has an output, the indicator light of this key will display green and the spray nozzle will spray water. Start the washing and sweeping truck to move forward and carry out spraying and dust reduction operations. After that, the F6 key on the screen debugging and maintenance interface or the rear spray spray gun key on the bus panel, the key indicator light is not on. The spray nozzle stops spraying water and the spray dust removal operation is stopped. Notice, pay attention to safety when using the handheld spray gun. It is strictly prohibited to point the handheld spray gun at the human body, animals or other vulnerable objects. Manual cleaning operation. Park the sweeper in a suitable position. The transmission is in the neutral position and the parking brake handle is in the park position. Connect the quick connector of the handheld spray gun and close the manual bow valve leading to the spray water circuit. Confirm or set the operation mode selection interface of the display screen to any position of the six washing sweeping modes of full washing sweeping, left washing sweeping and right washing sweeping and confirm that the water pump operation indicator turns green. Confirm that the initial interface of the display screen or the start-stop icon corresponding to the F3 key is in gray. Start the auxiliary engine and allow it to operate at idle speed. Select the F6 key on the debugging and maintenance interface of the display screen or the rear spray spray gun key on the bus panel. If the controller has an output, the indicator light of this key will display green and the spray nozzle will spray water. Use a handheld spray gun to complete the cleaning operation manually. After finishing the debugging and maintenance interface of the display screen, press F6 key or the rear spray spray gun key on the bus panel. If the key indicator is not on, the spray gun stops spraying water and the manual cleaning operation is stopped. 
shut down the auxiliary engine. Open the manual bow valve to the spray water circuit. Remove the quick connector of the handheld spray gun and retract the hose and spray gun. Notice, it is forbidden to point the handheld spray gun at the human body, animals or other vulnerable objects. Otherwise, personal injury may occur. It is forbidden to disassemble or assemble the quick connector of the handheld spray gun under high pressure. Otherwise, personal injury may occur. Low pressure flushing operation. The sweeper has a low pressure washing function similar to that of a common sprinkler. If it is necessary to sprinkle water on the road surface to cool down and reduce dust and wash quickly, the following methods can be used. Confirm that there is water in the clean water tank and start the main engine. Press the left sprinkler or right sprinkler rocker switch on the cab center console as required. Step on the clutch pedal of the vehicle. Press the selector switch of the power takeoff on the transmission side of the cab operation box and select the appropriate. The transmission is in gear and the sweeper is started to move forward. At this time, the corresponding left and right flushing nozzles begin to spray water. After the operation, stop the vehicle. Step on the vehicle clutch without releasing, step on the brake to stop the vehicle, and disengage the selector switch of the power takeoff at the transmission side, on the cab operation box. Turn off the left sprinkler or right sprinkler rocker switch on the cab console. Drive away from the working section. Notice, the low pressure flushing water pump or hydraulic oil pump driven by the power takeoff on the transmission side of the CASI shall not be mounted during high speed driving under non-operating conditions. Otherwise, the power takeoff and transmission may be damaged. The power takeoff shall be connected when the chassis air pressure is greater than 0.8 MPA. Otherwise, the power takeoff or clutch may be damaged. Be sure to disconnect the side power takeoff during driving and cleaning. It is also not allowed to engage or disengage the side power takeoff without disconnecting the engine power, without depressing the vehicle clutch. Speed Regulation Operation of Auxiliary Engine Under the working conditions of washing and sweeping or road sweeping without automatic control, such as unloading operation, self-cleaning of dustbin, commissioning and maintenance, the speed of the auxiliary engine can be adjusted by the speed control knob of the auxiliary engine on the operation box in the cab. Note, after the speed of the auxiliary engine is adjusted manually, the speed of the auxiliary engine shall be adjusted to the idle speed in time when the operation is completed, so as to avoid the speed being too high when the auxiliary engine is started next time. Use of hand oil pump. When the auxiliary engine fails to work or the hydraulic oil pump fails to work for some reason, it is necessary to withdraw the lowered suction nozzle. Withdraw the lowered sweeping disc, open the rear door of the dustbin, jack up the dustbin for unloading or carry out maintenance operations, which can be completed using the hand oil pump. Park the sweeper in a position suitable for unloading or maintenance with the transmission in the neutral position and the parking brake handle in the park position. Operate the corresponding key on the display screen in the cab or the rear bus panel. Shake the hand oil pump until the required action is completed and stop shaking. Pay attention after homework. After completing the operation or debugging and maintenance by using the rear small electric cabinet, all the knob switches on the small electric cabinet panel should be turned to the middle stop position in time to avoid conflict with the operation box in the cab and confusion of the control logic of the program control. After the cleaning operation, the dust bin shall be cleaned and the rear door shall be slightly opened for ventilation. Attention to maintenance after use. Do not flush the engine with water until the engine has cooled down. The filter screen of the water filter shall be cleaned frequently to ensure that the shell is sealed and the filter screen is unblocked and intact. The clogging of the filter screen will cause the high pressure water pump and the pipeline to vibrate due to air suction, which will damage the water pump. 
the engine oil of the auxiliary engine must be replaced after every 200 hours of operation. The engine air filter must be cleaned every two working days. In order to ensure the safety of operators and equipment, there is a safety brace at the lower part of the dust bin. During commissioning, installation, testing, maintenance and other operations, it is necessary to jack up the dust bin. The safety stay bars on both sides below the dust bin must be supported at the same time. And the safety stay bars must be fixed with safety bolts to ensure the safety of personnel and equipment. Put down the safety brace before resetting the dust bin after operation. In order to ensure that the dust bin is not damaged in case of misoperation, the reset sensor of the safety stay bar is set, and the reset operation of the dust bin is invalid before the safety stay bar is not put down. Drainage and antifreeze. Before the washing and sweeping vehicle is stopped in winter, the water in the vehicle shall be drained in strict accordance with the operation of drainage and anti-freezing of washing and sweeping vehicle in winter. Storage When the sweeper needs to be stored for a long time, the water in the fuel, engine cooling water, clean water tank, water pump, pipeline and dustbin should be drained before storage and the inside and outside should be cleaned. Cut off the water supply and lock the doors and windows. It shall be placed in a place with ventilation, moisture-proof and firefighting facilities. The vehicle shall be started and run for 30 minutes in the running-in mode of the new vehicle every 30 days. The maintenance shall be carried out every six months according to the secondary maintenance items specified in this manual. Chassis Engine and Maintenance Chassis and engine parts shall be maintained in accordance with the requirements of the vehicle chassis and engine instructions. Routine Maintenance Routine maintenance is carried out after daily operation, which is the basis of maintenance at all levels, focusing on cleaning and inspection. Clean the working surface of each sensor of the sweeper. When sweeping the dusty road surface, clean the main and auxiliary engine air filters every day to protect the engine. Flush the inside of the dust bin, the inside of the strainer, the inside of the suction pipe, the outside of the vehicle body and each assembly, and clean the glass and rearview mirror, etc. Check the fuel, cooling water and engine oil level of the main and auxiliary engines, and add them if necessary. Check the tension of fan, water pump, and oil pump drive belt, and adjust if necessary. Check the whole vehicle for oil leakage, water leakage, and air leakage, and eliminate them if necessary. Check the fastening conditions of tire nuts, fastening bolts, and U-bolts, and check the appearance of air pressure of tires. Tighten and add air if necessary. Turn on the water drain switch at the lower part of the water filter to drain the impurities in the filter. Troubleshoot the problem that occurred on that day. Level 1 Maintenance The operation shall be carried out every 50 hours, focusing on lubrication and fastening. Clean the fuel filter, air filter, oil filter, water filter and vacuum pipeline screen of the main and auxiliary engines. Wash the sediment in the clean water tank and the inside and outside of the dust bin. Check the oil level of the main and auxiliary engines, high pressure water pump and chassis, and add the specified brand of engine oil and lubricating oil if necessary. Check the lubrication of the fan bearing seat and add lubricating grease. Apply grease to all fittings. Check the connection of the main and auxiliary engines, fan, high-pressure water pump, clean water tank, dust bin, suction nozzle, and spray bar, left and right vertical sweeper, connecting bolts, nuts, pin rolls, and hydraulic pipe joints of the subframe and chassis assemblies, and tighten them if necessary. Check and adjust the belt tightness of the fan and high-pressure water pump, checking the grounding mark of the sweeping brush, and adjust the inclination of the sweeping disc. Check the ground clearance and lifting height of the lower rigid edge of the suction nozzle and adjust the height of the supporting wheel. 
Check the spraying water condition of the high pressure nozzle and adjust the water spraying angle and overlapping degree. Check the sealing of the rear door of the dust bin and adjust it if necessary. Complete the items specified in the first level maintenance in the engine and chassis instructions. Secondary maintenance. The operation shall be carried out every 250 hours, focusing on inspection and adjustment. Perform all items of level one maintenance. Clean the oil suction filter element of the hydraulic system and replace the oil return filter element. Check all rubber seals and suction pipes. Narrow V-belts for high pressure water pump and fan transmission. Sliding plates for suction nozzle support wheels. Electric control device fuses, warning lights, hydraulic system seals and hydraulic hoses. And replace them if necessary. Check and adjust the overflow pressure of the hydraulic system and the third gear speed of the sweep disc. Check and adjust the sensor probe of the auxiliary engine tachometer and calibrate the auxiliary engine tachometer. Carry out the second level maintenance items specified in the engine and chassis instructions. Level 3 Maintenance Level 3 maintenance is carried out after every 1,000 hours of operation. Level 3 maintenance focuses on disassembly, cleaning, inspection, adjustment, and elimination of hidden dangers of some assemblies. And all contents of level 1 maintenance and level 2 maintenance are implemented. The lubricating oil of the high pressure water pump shall be replaced every 1000 hours of operation. And the technical condition of the high pressure water pump shall be checked according to the requirements of the water pump manual. Replace the hydraulic oil of the hydraulic system. Replace the suction and return oil filter and clean the hydraulic oil tank. The engine and chassis shall be maintained according to the three level maintenance contents specified in the operating instructions.